Good evening, I'm Kai Jackson. And I'm Mary Bubala. We are following two big stories out of the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office tonight as the city's top prosecutor herself faces scrutiny from the governor about her prosecution policies. We have team coverage tonight. Mackenzie Frost is taking a closer look at the criticism and Marilyn, Mos Marilyn Mosby's response to it. But we begin with Jeff Abel. He joins us live with the 88 count indictment of a city prosecutor accused of abusing his power. Jeff. Well, you know, as an assistant state's attorney, Adam Chaudhry spent 13 years enforcing the law, but tonight he's accused of breaking it. Adam Chaudhry served as one of the top prosecutors in the city's homicide unit, but now he's accused of abusing his position. In an 88-count indictment released late today, state prosecutor Charlton Howard accuses Chaudhry of stalking, extortion, and harassment. It's an unbelievable chain of events when it's uh, an 88 count indictment against a prosecutor as very seasoned prosecutor. The indictment alleges that Chaudhry used his position in the grand jury process to obtain telephone records and other information related to his former romantic partners. It's a terribly embarrassing situation for the state's attorney's office. Warren Alperstein is a former assistant state's attorney in Baltimore City. It's clear that there was a lack of institutional control, that a prosecutor could use his power and authority uh, to obtain in, uh, subpoenas, dozens of subpoenas, Jeff, using the grand jury for that purpose, a completely and totally illegitimate purpose, and, and nobody knew about it. In a statement, Chaudhry's attorney says the indictment is rife with legal and factual errors and compares it with throwing everything against the wall and hoping something sticks. Chaudhry is no longer a prosecutor in that office. It is unclear tonight when he'll be making his first appearance in court. We are live. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. Thank you, Jeff. The indictment of Marilyn Mosby's prosecutor comes as Mosby herself and her husband, City Council President Nick Mosby, are under a federal investigation into their finances. We know federal investigators have requested financial documents dating back to 2014, and subpoenas have been served to some of the couple's business associates. The Mosby's have responded to the investigation only through their attorney, who denies any wrongdoing on the part of his clients. 